Alright guys, how's it going? So I'm making a follow-up video regarding the sculpting tools add-on. Now I generally don't do this and I want to correct a couple of user errors on my part. And there's also a secondary conversation happening in the comments. The user's kind of correct in terms of the video, but I want to show you why it's beneficial to create an amateur using the modifier. So we'll quickly delete the default cube, I'll come to sculpting tools and I'll hit add envelope. Now this essentially uses Blender's armature system, or bones, and you can see here on the right that I can actually go into the object data, go to the viewport display, and I can change the way these look. Now the reason it uses envelope is because it's trying to replicate ZBrush Z-spheres. I can even add names. Now one of the things I want to address is, I couldn't size the end bone, and the reason for this is, I was hitting S, and you need to hit Alt and S, and this will scale it up, and this gives you a better functionality. The next thing I done in the video was I came to the sculpt tools and I went to skin armature. I then went into the modifier stack and I created an armature. Now technically their underlying armature is there. If I select an armature I can even go into pose mode and pose the bones. But the reason I created the armature in the modifier stack is, watch this. So I have the exact same armature and I have a duplicate. So I can actually go back into the original one. I can even go into edit mode and I can start creating another version. Now if I don't do create armature, I don't have a secondary rig. So let's say, so if I come back up to sculpting tools, you can see here I can either update the original mesh or I can skin the armature again. And this means I can actually have more than one bit of geometry with more than one rig. And that's the kind of workflow behind it. So do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter. Peace.